I just wanted to express some things that were not sitting right with my spirit. Uh, now that I'm about the sunken place, I can think and I could just be yay and just express how I feel. There's a couple things that I want to address. Uh, first of all, I want to address Nick Cannon. Like, I understand that uh, you used to date my wife, but you know, you get in an interview, don't mention my wife. If someone brings my wife up, you say, hey, I respect that man. I'm not speaking on that. Don't be making no suggestions like nobody fucked my wife. Now, the next thing is with Drake. Yeah, I told you uh, that if I wasn't in a medicated state, I might have had the, the thoughts to hold on this train going by. Now, if I wasn't in a medicated state, I might have thought and had the wherewithal to say. Now, if I wasn't in a medicated state, I might have thought and had the wherewithal to say, hey, Pusher, don't diss Drake on my beat. And I, and I spoke about that and took accountability for that. Now, what I need, what I'm looking for for my spirit to take accountability is the fact that it's people making rumors or thinking that you fuck my wife and you're not saying nothing and you carrying it like that, that don't sit well with my spirit. You know, if I had a girlfriend from Chicago, her name was Renita, and then you was married to Rihanna, I wouldn't make no song called Riri. So when you're like, oh, I don't know where it come from, you too smart for that, bro. You know where that come from. Don't make no record with nothing that could be confused. Now I told you, I didn't tell Pusha no information about your baby, baby mama, nothing like that, that didn't come from me. But when you played that record for me, in the studio that said, yo, we got some Kylie's, we got some Kendall's. I told you, Travis is your man. Don't make no record. I told you, Travis is your man. Don't make no record like that. That man just had a baby with her. That's gonna be offensive. That's gonna be offensive to her. I hit Trav about the ecstasy uh, record and made sure that we was all good, that we know we, we, we family, right? So, I did tell you not to do that. So period, it's like, don't speak on none of nobody from my family, nothing that could be even mentioned with my wife, period. We don't have to talk again. I'm not giving no energy to that, but I'm telling you that. And also, as far as Tyson and Beckford go, don't speak on my wife, bro. Like none of y'all speak on my wife, period. What are you talking about? I'm married. We in love, we a family. Y'all be promoting all that like negativity. Y'all think that shit is cool for social media. It don't sit right with my soul. It don't sit right for my spirit. And as men, all three of y'all, y'all come talk to me. Y'all holla at me. We'll work it out. We'll come to a resolution. It's fine, but don't, that, that it just don't sit right with me. And I had to express that to y'all. And cause, cause it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I get on the phone. So I had to express it to you like this. Nick Cannon, Drake, Tyson Beckford, all that wasn't sitting right with me.